Canadian cyclist Kristen Wally authored a book titled Woman Enough which has created a stir in sporting circles. Wally, a transgender sportsperson, said physical transition from one gender to another was painful and terrifying. She said life takes a different turn. She said she endured many odds and even fought court cases to participate in cycling, and won there too. In this context she is an avid supporter of Duty Chand. Wally says Duty is a champion who has been pushed around by various forces, but she has it in her to overcome all obstacles and achieve greatness in running. In matters of gender discrimination, Wally said Duty Chand has stood up to a lot of pressure and obstacles, but she was confident of turning things around. Certainly. I mean, as much as I can share with you, um, for me, it's I've, I've, I've known Duty for many years, because um, I actually came to know, as I was mentioning earlier, with uh, with Santi Sutteran. Um I came to um, engage with her many years ago, back in 2006, um, during when she was horribly violated um, during the Asian Games, where she medaled uh, silver in the women's 800 meter, and was uh, gender tested back then. So it was really um, heartening for me to hear, first of all, hear Judy speak prior to us meeting yesterday, because I was w watching Judy talk about um, how it was so difficult for her to get funding and so on as an athlete to support her towards um, her Olympic campaign uh, to represent India in the, in the women's 100 meter and the, and the ability to raise money um, to support her. So it was, it was a reflection for me because 15 years ago when I came to know Santi, it was a very similar parallel um, all those years ago to really um, seeing the struggles for women, um, and particularly in women's athletics. I don't know how broad this is in other sports for women in India, um, and specific to athletics. Um, I see the struggle even 15 years later. So um, a lot hasn't changed. Um, I'm hopeful, um, based on a lot of the conversations we had here today, you know, it's, it seems positive, and there seems to be a, a fundamental willingness to change to help bring opportunity for women and funding and so on. So it's, it's, that's a very positive thing. Uh, in regards to my discussion with, with um, Duty yesterday, afterwards, um, it was great to connect with her because and, and, uh, we actually hadn't had a lot of time to, to connect be prior to this. So um, for me, I'm, I'm doing some other engagements in international sport um, in regards to diversity and inclusion um, that's a lot more broad reaching internationally outside of world athletics. So I'm hoping to be able to engage her and some of the other Indian athletes, um, including Santi as well, and, and, and some other athletes um, to be part of this global um, relationship that I'm trying to work on um, to help bring broader awareness and uh, support uh, to female athletes around the, around the world within the Olympic movement. And you like to help Oh, absolutely. I think I think there's I think there's a tremendous opportunity um, with what Duty's doing, and and I also think um, there's a tremendous opportunity for India as a as a nation to help lead this conversation internationally within the Olympic movement, because of the broad reach, reaching um, abilities of, of the country and its engagement in sport, but also so many young athletes that are that are developing in the country uh, can be very influential and in, in, in more broad reaching uh, to help. Um, broaden out the discussion to help bring more awareness and, and really help develop the women's sporting uh, environment. Oh, she's, she's more than that. She's, I mean, I mean, I, she, of course she's a, an Olympian from, from Rio um, and representing the country in, 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 in major international and in, in obviously at the Asian Games as well as, a, as an international champion. But I think a lot of the things that she brings as well is her, her courage, talking about her diversity in such a public way and, and helping to uh, being kind of that positive face and for other young uh, Indian uh, women and, and young men as well, um, talking about the various diversities and in particular of, of, of the, her openness about it to be able to help be that leader and help be helping to show and kind of champion this discussion to, to help other young people uh, across the country. So she's uh, a very courageous woman. Yeah, I'm very proud of her. <laughs>